During the global pandemic, Initial Six found their cameras in their hands as a tool to create, regardless of the rivers and oceans between them. Alone, together, is the result. Hi, I'm Marianne, and I'm a member of Initial Six. Let's hear from Initial Six and the creator of Alone Together on what inspires you, why you created this piece, and why you see it fit for the Lacuna Festival curatorial call on distance. Thanks, Marianne. Hi, I'm Jennifer Nikolai. I'm going to introduce uh, that Initial Six is a group of experienced dancers who have collaborated in dance research and performance in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada since 2014. So we've been collaboratively choreographing and performing works either live or live shot with real-time footage. We've, we've been shooting in studio and then with the pre-recorded footage, we've projected it live in the moment. We've shot live and digital and performed live and digital for, for many years now. And this is the first time that we are creating a screen dance piece. Alone Together was created in 2020 and is being curated here as part of the Lacuna Festival in 2021. I want to introduce to you the, uh, the, the choreographic concept, the direct, direction and the post-production editing has all been done by our creator, Kathy Metzger. Hello, my name is Kathy Metzger. Um, Alone Together has been, had its beginnings by creating individual life map solos with the intention of combining a group dance to be choreographed in the future by myself. Uh, the Alone Together process has evolved into a screen dance piece inspired by our separation. Footage was filmed by the dancers themselves, then later edited with plans to join together again in 2021, I hope. Hi, my name is Jody Van de Kerkhove, and I'm one of the dancers and collaborators. And I'm just going to ask each of our collaborators and dancers what inspired them with this process. Let's start with Marianne or Wendy. Sorry, Wendy, please. Hi, I'm Wendy Gervais, and um, I took my inspiration, of course, from Kathy's uh, idea of. Uh, dancing about life is dance and I took it quite literally and I did improvisation based on word association so I chose words that meant something about the event then I created improvisational um, uh, session alone and uh, developed sequences I refined the sequences I chose um, a venue which was a, a snowy field in my neighborhood and uh, I performed it there with two cameras and uh, a phone for a little bit of added um, background film. And then I gave all of it as a hodgepodge to Kathy and Kathy sorted it out from there. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Wendy. Perko, can you let us know what inspires you with this process? Yes, thank you, Jody. So my name is Pirko Markula. And when Kathy asked me to join her in this life map project, I immediately thought of the dancing body in motion and how that shaped and is shaping my life. And that's how I started to create my choreography, which like when this was her number of parts that I just kind of gave to Kathy, who then made sense out of it all. Excellent, thank you, Perko. Jen, can you give us your insight, please? Great, thank you. Um, so I, um, I shot on my own handheld device, so my camera. So I've been making works in my own camera, on my own camera for a long time now. But the difference this time was that I didn't have anyone uh, to join in studio with me or to do any handheld camera with me. So I decided that the only place that I could safely uh, dance in is the beach down the street from where I live. 
So I'm a Canadian, but I live in Auckland right now. And during the global pandemic, I'm not able to return to Canada or travel back home to Canada. So I had my handheld camera on the beach right where I live. Uh, nobody was there. So I made sure it was a time of day that everybody was at work or at home. And I shot a range of pieces um, based on three major life events from my life map solos, uh, diagrams or sketches that I created. And each of the life events that were significant to me happened to also be significant dance moments in my life. So I, I was able to augment some of the initial choreography from influential moments in my life and turn it into um, a beach dance of sorts. Thanks. Great, thank you, Jen. Marianne, can you provide us some insight on your... Marianne. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my, what inspired me in my process. And then when Marianne, if she gets okay. back there, she can. Oh. I'm back. Apologies. <laughs> this is part of just winging it and being adaptable and flexible. Um, things were flipping back and forth on my screens, which was very entertaining for me. But in terms of the process, um, I think I had landmark times for sure that stood out in my life. And when you've lived as long as I have, there's a lot of times and a lot of moments, but um, it really, what inspired me, I guess, is kind of thinking about these other women in this lovely collective we have and wondering about their lives and thinking here we all are in our very own spaces doing our own uh, life map. And I, I, I felt even though I was alone on my deck in my backyard in the middle of winter in Canada, I did feel together with these women. And that sort of spurred me on and made me inspired even though they're not beside me. Um, but yeah, I just, I do feel as though it's a brilliant um, idea by Kathy Metzger. And I do think that, that uh, we all hang on to the hope of dancing together and not alone again. Great, thank you, Marianne. So I would say for me, what inspired me with this process was, first of all, obviously, Kathy giving us this concept of life maps. And I really had to kind of, almost do an autobiography on myself. What have, so I kind of created these movement scores with these events in my life. And then I would just have this locomotion of walking in between these movement scores. And then for me, site specific work is really something I am intrigued by. So I wanted to create this space that was um, meant something to me. And the River Valley really means something to me. It's my therapy to go into the River Valley and just walk and move. So then I thought about how I could, this, this idea of movement and space and what that means. So yeah, and then again, that other layer is all the other collaborators talked about how that distance of movement can also alone versus being together like this alone being together so I would say that's kind of what inspired me in this process and I'm really thankful for it and again during the global pandemic initial six found their we found our cameras in the hands to make um as a tool to make re regardless of the rivers, the oceans, we made these pieces and then alone together resulted in this. So Kathy, I'm gonna to go to you now and ask what inspired you to kind of compose this alone together? Well, I, I, that's, I will. I'm just gonna go on script and then go off script a little bit. Um, as a member of Initial Six, I offered to create a dance piece on the group for the orchestra's dance performance uh, dance motif 2021. So we hope we were hoping to be in person on a stage. Uh, this dance would have been called Life Maps uh, based on the individual performer's personal life solos. 
um, and which would then be developed further into a group piece. And I learned this process uh, through um, spiritual therapy, uh, which has many layers to it, which I love because there's obviously a physical component um, by creating a physical life map on a piece of paper. Uh, then, but then there's also a personal, spiritual, psychological component where by everyone delving into their own personal lives um, and recalling that, how that can be very uh, therapeutic, emotionally and spiritually in, in many, many ways. So there's a lot of depth to it. So I really love that aspect of it, but I love the visual aspect of it. We had only created a life map group piece um, because it would have been a really great um, piece on stage with everyone's individual. But because COVID-19 changed all that, as we know, everyone recorded their own solos in their own personal space and um, filmed it in their own way, which then pushed me to learn how to create a dance film. So it was an incredible creative process for me and learning new skills. Um, and it was inspiring to see how Alone Together became a completely different project altogether. And um, so it was very inspiring uh, to, to go through for myself as well as the choreographer and editor. Um, so I'm very thankful for this process and thankful for everyone doing their part. Yeah. Right, thank you so much. Uh, Kathy, you know, we have um, been showing our gratitude, but it really is quite, a, um, quite influential that um, I'd say each of us also has our own inspiration that is, that is stemmed from or that has been initiated by this alone together process as, as a pretty moving process, really shooting on your own and similar to what Marianne spoke to while constantly knowing that you're sharing this process with someone else across time zones and across days. So for me, I have, uh, as a result of Kathy's uh, initiation, I've been um, writing short poems and creating short uh, MOV files. So short films, short uh, iPhone pieces that I'm slowly collaborating and editing into a few larger pieces or subsequent pieces. And as a dance academic, I'm also writing about this process a lot and putting it into areas of, uh, of inspiration around how this also informs my future practice. So initial six also has the intention of continuing to dance as we age, as we mature, we, we want to be visible, we want to continue researching and making and performing and dancing with one another. And so um, I've been making uh, short pieces called Move and the Move pieces are dances with me and uh, my beach uh, and the Pacific Ocean, again, in isolation on my own. But when I write poems, I often feel as if I'm connected so during the global pandemic, we cannot move. We're isolated and immobile. We aim for safety and a subsequent stillness. Still, we access each other's place and space with an ease that may not have previously unfolded. We move through our devices, handheld, close to home, close to hearts. And in this holding, close to us, we access each other's geographies. As a result, we move more. Thanks, Pirko. Um, we all shot, like uh, Kathy said, our pieces in our own uh, locations. So Jennifer shot footage from her location, as she said, from the beach in Auckland, uh, Auckland Pacific Ocean in New Zealand summer. While Jody shot footage in the North Saskatchewan River Valley, as she said, that is serves as a solace for her. I shot mine at home. Um, and Wendy, uh, as, as she explained, on her neighborhood field. Marianne in her backyard in Edmonton, but all in isolation during the global pandemic 2020. So this is an example of um, a moment of two other pieces that I've shot. Uh, you can see I'm self-referential 
uh, in that I'm still in isolation. I'm shooting uh, autobiographically on myself with myself, uh, but my partners are light. So I'm playing with light and I'm playing with reflections from water and uh, seaweed as my duet partner. So these are my short pieces uh, titled Move and they're short duets with camera, sand, seaweed and self. Is Jody going to talk about her her slide prior to yours, Jen? Jody, do you want to or? I mean, that's just a, a photo of um, winter in Edmonton, Alberta, in, and just the River Valley and kind of what inspires me. Okay, sorry. Thank you. So Perko. Um, so we also have, of course, future opportunities, hopefully um, for our group. Um, and in one sense, because um, Initial Six is also a um, research group, um, not only a, a dance group. Um, we have also worked together in other types of projects. Um, um, so we have just secured a large grant that allows us to create work and dance for the next four years. Jennifer and I, we have also worked together to um, write a chapter about our um, movement experiences and it's titled Aging, Memory and Camera. And um, um, when Jennifer joined us, um, other initial six dancers, she brought in her research in dance and camera. And then we eagerly embraced the challenge of experimenting with improvised digitally placed dance making that we continue to do currently. And in this chapter, um, we reflect upon the process of creating one of the earlier dance works, Kurokan Dance Memories that integrated structured improvisation and the use of digital handheld cameras that then as collaborative dance partners, um, we referred to as camera dancers and we incorporated those in our performance. And even more lately, Wendy has um, achieved a, a large grant as well for, for, for her work and she will now share what she's doing. Oh, Wendy, your sound. Start over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm Wendy Gervais, and I'm a visual artist. And uh, Cassie provided me with uh, an opportunity to develop an idea in my visual art. So I've taken the idea of, well, her suggestion of taking five or six life events, changing events, um, that impacted us and uh, using those recollections to actually create visual art. They will be hopefully five or six um, assemblages. They will be release sculptures. Um, I'm already underway in, in a few of them. And uh, I just find it so inspiring to dance it and then to take those dance events and now do a visual art project. So I feel, I feel very, um, well, very fortunate to receive a, a grant to do this work over the next year. And we'll see at the end of the year what kind of visual art I will produce. I think I would just like to conclude that I just imagine next year as being a contrast from this COVID-19 year. Next year, and hopefully soon, we'll all get together in our backyards, in our, each other's homes, in restaurants and cafes, and in the dance gym and the studios where we can discuss new ideas uh, and create new dances, and uh, we will be, by doing that, striving to disrupt that inherent um, ageism that we see in the dance world and in society. I think in the next year, as we come together, we will have success, and I have to thank Initial Six and all the dancers, and Kathy in particular, for her ideas on this, and uh, I just see a, a full year of dance adventure. And initial six, I think it's just a, a, 
a wonderful group to be dancing with into my future. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Initial Six. Thank you, Lacuna Festival. Bye.